guys, my name is Prasad and today I'm going to talk about how we can leverage Ansible to provision the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. Ansible is providing a module called K8S to provision the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. I would like to take a scenario and with that scenario, I would like to use Ansible to provision the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. Let's say we're going to create two namespaces inside the Kubernetes cluster. One is production and another one is development. In the production namespace, I would like to deploy my application with replicas count is equal to three for the deployment and the type of the service is load balancer. When it comes to the development, so for my application inside the development namespace, I would like to go with the replicas count is equal to one for the deployment and the type of the service is node port. Now, with this scenario, we'll try to use the Ansible to create the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster and what are all the advantages that we are getting with Ansible if you try to deploy the objects inside the Kubernetes cluster. Let me share the editor. So for, to demonstrate that, I'm using a Visual Studio Code Insider. So it will give me the flexibility to write the files, edit the files, and uh, also it will give us the facility to execute the commands as well. So I just created a empty directory called Ansible underscore K8S. And for this demonstration, we need Ansible as well as the running Kubernetes cluster. Ansible is already installed in my laptop and the Kubernetes cluster is running inside a Vagrant environment. To check that, kubectl get nodes. The Kubernetes cluster is three node cluster and first node is master node and the other two are worker node one and worker node two. And the version of the Kubernetes cluster here is 1.18.0, which is the latest version as of recording this video. And you can get the component statuses of the Kubernetes master node with this command kubectl get cs. All components are healthy. And if you check the namespaces, the existing namespaces inside the Kubernetes cluster is by default namespaces. Now we'll try to create the namespaces first, and then we'll go with the deployments and then services. To create the namespace, I will try to utilize the module called K8S and we'll create the namespaces inside the Kubernetes cluster. So for this, I will create a file over here called ns.yaml. And in this file, I will create Ansible file to create the namespace inside the Kubernetes cluster. And in this case, Ansible will try to authenticate with the Kubernetes cluster using the kube config file, which is inside my local machine. Here the connection is localhost. I mean, the host name is localhost. And then the tasks is, I'm just assigning a name, description to this name, create production namespace and then the module is k8s and we need to specify the name of the object which you are going to create that is production and what is the api version how to get the api version of any object inside the kubernetes cluster we can use the command kubectl explain namespace. This particular explain command will give you the version of the API version of the object and what is the kind of it. So in this case, API version is V1. And what is the kind of the object that you are creating inside the Kubernetes cluster? That is namespace. Always remember, find namespace N is capital. 
and then the state of the object is present. Let's go and execute this playbook. Ansible hyphen playbook and then the playbook name. Just try to observe the output. So now it is executing the task of creation production namespace and here you can see the changed straight is true. That means it, it is created the namespace of the production inside the Kubernetes cluster. Just validate that kubectl get ns. Production namespace is created. And similar way, we need to create another namespace called development. So just edit the same file. Create development namespace. And the module is k8s. And the name of the object is development. And what is the API version? Just now we have observed the kubectl explain command v1. And then what is the kind of the object that you're creating? Namespace. Sorry for that. And the state of the object is present. I hope the spelling is correct. Let me recorrect it. Present. Execute the same playbook. As Ansible is idempotent in nature, in this playbook, we have already a snippet called creating the namespace inside the Kubernetes cluster. And previously we executed this. And with that execution, Ansible is created the production namespace inside the Kubernetes cluster. Even if you execute next time also, or n number of time also, Ansible is idempotent in nature. It won't do any harm to your target machines. Let me execute the same command so that we can try to observe. For the task creation production namespace, the change state is okay. That means the namespace is already there and I don't need to create any namespace. Ansible will think like that. And when it comes to the create development namespace, it will try to check before creating the namespace. The namespace development is already there or not. If the namespace is not there, just try to create. If the namespace is already there, don't create it. If the development namespace is not there, that's the reason it's just created. If I execute the same command, what will happen? For all the tasks, the changed state should be okay. Because the namespaces are already presented in the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so if you want to delete the namespaces, instead of present, we need to make sure the state is absent. Just try to execute this. Before executing, let's just validate whether the namespaces are created inside the Kubernetes cluster or not. kubectl get ns. There you can see production namespace and the development namespace is already created. And if I execute, Now this time it is deleting the namespaces. All right, now the change state is true for all the two tasks. And if you try to check kubectl get ns, those namespaces are deleted, All right? This is how you can create the object, any object, and you can delete the object. Let's make this to present. To create the namespaces inside the Kubernetes cluster. So Ansible, playbook, and then the playbook. There you go, Ansible. Now we can check the namespaces inside the Kubernetes cluster. The production is already there, development is already there. 